Good morning, everyone. We are back to do another weekly read. We're going to dive on in and take a look and see um, how this person is truly feeling towards you or the connection at this current time. So we are going to we are going to expose this person's feelings. Do keep in mind, guys, these reads are for entertainment purposes only. So with that, just take what you need and leave what doesn't apply. If you do enjoy this reading, uh, feel free to let me know by giving me a big thumbs up and or subscribing to my channel where you can catch more of my reads in the upcoming future. This one wanted to come through. This reading is for all fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, this is for you. If you would like to book a personal reading, guys, uh, all the details on how to connect with me will be in the show more section below. Okay, so you've got this could be the one. You've got religious factors. So this person, how they truly feel towards you guys is that they feel deep in their heart and soul that you could be the one, okay? They constantly think about, this person constantly thinks about you and constantly can't, like they can't shake the fact that you could be their person, okay? Okay. We've got religious factors coming in here too. It says here, your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing or spiritual path. So this person feels that you could be the one for them, um, but there's something here getting in the way. And I feel like it could be, it could be religion. Um, it could be their belief system as well. Maybe they have um, very different beliefs to your own. Um, it could be values here. This person could feel that you don't have the same values, even though they feel that you could possibly be the one for them. We've also got here too, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So I feel this person is um, is closed off on a heart level right now. Um, there's something here that's just not sort of meeting all the way for them. Okay, Perhaps they want to open their heart up to you. Perhaps they want to give you their all here. But they don't feel it's safe. It says it is safe for you to love, but they're not feeling it's safe. And it could be because of the religious factors. It could be because you don't, um, your values don't align. So they don't feel it's safe to fully open their heart up to you. So as a result, they could be pushing you away. Um, communicate. This person feels that they want to communicate and talk to you. So Look, you might not be currently talking to this person, but they do want communication. They do want to talk. They may even, you know, send you a message here or send you an email here. So they want to. They could possibly want to write you a love letter. We've got healing here. This person may feel um, that you have some healing to do or maybe they feel they have some healing to do. Okay, so someone needs healing here. So this is how they uh, this is how they're feeling. Receive. Accept and reap. <clears throat> okay. 
This person feels like they want to be able to receive you fully and openly, but I mean, we've even got this um, fairy here with that open hand. We've got these open hands here. So they want to be able to receive you openly and fully, but <clears throat> we've got trust. They're not trusting the situation. Okay, they're in they're their inner knowing is telling them to kind of keep you at arm's length because they don't trust. Even though this card says trust, I mean, there's a this person's got a blindfold on, so they can't see. Um, they're not confident. Okay, this person isn't confident in how it's going to unfold. For them because someone needs healing here even though they feel that you could be the one they just don't feel safe to open up their heart or to come towards you and receive you fully we've got the wheel here I want to say this person feels that when they talk to you, that when they're with you, they feel like they're on top of the world. We see this woman, she's standing on all these wheels. So when they're with you, when they're sharing those moments with you, when they're face to face or communicating with you, they feel like everything's going really, really well. Okay, that's how they feel. But around this woman's neck is um, a pair of dice. And, you know, it's like anyone's guess. So they, yeah, I'm just getting this mixed messages. They're in two minds. It's like, yeah, they. this person feels like when they're with you, when they're spending time with you, they have a wonderful time. Um, communication flows. But then on the flip side of that, it can change really, really quickly. That's how they feel, like it changes. The energy changes. Yeah, look, the hanged man. There's, there's stuck energy here. It feels blocked to me. Because the hanged man is suspended here. The hanged man is trying to get a better view. And I feel like how this person's looking at this is um, they're looking at it from a different angle to yours. They just, this person feels blocked. Okay, maybe you're blocking them. Maybe you still need healing or, or they need healing. So it's blocking the connection. It's blocking their feelings. It's blocking them from really opening up their heart to you. This person feels with the devil that... Um, this connection is unhealthy. They feel it's unhealthy, but yet they still have this attachment to you. So they feel obsessed. They feel attached to you. Um, look, we even have a hand reaching out again. So it's always like this person feels like they're constantly longing for you. but possibly in an unhealthy way here. Okay, this could be a Capricorn with the Devil card. Okay, I'll take the top one that I see, and that was the High Priestess. Um, this person... 
this person feels on a soul level, on a spiritual level drawn to you. They feel this soul tie here with the high priestess and the devil. They feel there's a soul tie here. They feel that soul tie. Even with the high priestess, this person feels like they kind of see you in a high regard or they kind of put you up on a pedestal. It's interesting, you've got the high priestess on top of the trust card, <laughs> which to me, it's kind of like the same energy. This person feels that they need to trust their intuition and maybe with the devil here, they, they struggle with uh, listening to their intuition at times. This person may also feel, guys, that you're keeping secrets from them or maybe they feel that you're not being totally honest with them. They feel with the devil here that you may have some kind of addictions that you need to heal from here. And it goes against their belief system. It goes against their morals, their values here. So let's see what else is coming through. Um, what's this one? Ten of Wands. This person feels that um, this connection is a burden at times. Yeah, it really weighs them down. Okay, it really weighs them down. Um, let's see what else. How does this person feel? Queen of Wands. Well, they feel attracted to you. Absolutely. They feel um, that you, you ignite some kind of creativity within this person. You make them feel very um, in their element, like in their creative element. Um, I feel that you make them feel uplifted in some way here with the Queen of Wands. This person also feels very sexually attracted to you. We see a lot of fire here. Um, hmm. What else is coming through? For our fire signs. How does this person truly feel? Six of cups. Okay, they feel the strong bond. Um, they feel that you have this special connection. They feel nostalgic. Okay, they constantly um, think about the good times. And I, I feel like they want these Six of Cups with you. So this person feels like they want they want to recreate those memories. This person feels with the Knight of Swords, um, they feel like they want to talk to you. I feel like this Knight of Swords here is the card of communication. So they, they feel impulsive. They feel like they want to take some kind of impulsive action towards you. Um, but with the high priestess here, they know they need to listen to their better judgment. Could be dealing with an air sign. As this person could be an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Queen of Wands could be another fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But that's what I have for you guys at this time. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Until next time, take care.